Tonight, the search for a suspect continues after an officer was struck by a car during a traffic stop in Manhattan, and the chaos did not end there. CBS 2's Alicia Reed has a story from the Flatiron District. This is still a very active scene out here. Police are searching for the person responsible for backing into an NYPD officer during a traffic stop near 30th Street and Madison Avenue. We want to warn you, the video you're about to see can be disturbing. One officer can be seen bashing into the side mirror of the black sedan in question. The vehicle is surrounded by police and other vehicles. The driver tries to get away by backing up, but ends up hitting an officer. The driver then takes off down 30th Street, barreling onto the sidewalk, crashing into an outdoor eating structure, then taking off down the street before taking down a street sign and a hydrant. The vehicle eventually came to a stop near Lexington Avenue, where witnesses say the driver took off on foot and ran into a nearby building. One man who drove to the city for lunch says the suspect vehicle came to a halt next to his, and his car is now part of the crime scene. If he was like half an inch away, he would have scraped my car, probably done more damage to it. So everybody's telling me, you know, I'm really lucky that nothing worse. happened. Yeah, it could be worse, you know. This is New York City. Uh, a lot of stuff happens, but... You know, I, um, you always think it's never going to happen to you. But I, I mean, I think New Yorkers are vigilant, alert people, and probably more so these days, you know, used to be able to be a little more casual and keep your face in your phone. But now you kind of got to be looking around and be aware of your surroundings. It isn't clear why the vehicle was stopped initially, but police say the suspect was seen with an illegal firearm in the vehicle. He is described as a middle-aged man with a green mohawk. The officer was taken to a nearby hospital with multiple injuries, including head trauma. From the Flatiron District, Alicia Reed, CBS 2 News.